This is F10, day one, and we're introducing you to the OU for the OW sound. So we've got OW, ER, OUR, OUT, OUT, OO, OW, D, LOUD, SH, OUT, SHOUT, P, ER, OW, D, PROUD, M, OW, MOUTH, F, OW, N, D, FOUND, F, OW, N, D, SOUND, R, OW, N, D, ROUND, G, R, OW, N, D, GROUND. We've also um, just revising the SH for the SH sound and the TH for the FH sound. So let's see what these words mean. So if something belongs to us, it is ours. So it's our house, our car, our garden, our book, our shoe, our hat, whatever it might be. If it belongs to someone else, it, we would use the word your. So the opposite to ours will be yours. Um, this is out, it means beyond where we are now. The opposite to out will be in. Loud is like a loud noise, so the opposite to loud will be quiet. A shout is when we yell or scream out loud, so the opposite to shout would be whisper. So I always put opposites in a little box so you know that they mean the opposite to the, to the um, list word. Proud means when we take pride in something. So you might win a prize or do something really well and you're very proud of your effort. Mouth is that part of your face where our teeth and tongue are and that's where we put food when we eat, so it's part of the body. Found is the opposite to lost. So you might have to follow a treasure, a treasure map or something to find the treasure. Um, it's when you find something. So it comes from the word find but if we did it yesterday, we wouldn't say find it, we'd say found. A sound is a noise, it could be loud or a quiet noise. Round is a shape, it's circular. You, a ball could be round. Um, this is a hula hoop which is round. The ground is the earth that we move on, all those things down by our feet that we might be stepping on or over is the ground. Now let's read these words, sound them spell them and write them and then don't forget to check them at the end. So we're going ow, er, ow, er, ow, er, o, u, r, o, u, r, o, u, r. And then we write it three times. And then we check it. Let's just do another one and then you can do the rest on your own. Out, 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 o, u, t. O U T, O U T. Cover it and write it three times. O U T, O U T. And the more you say it out loud, the easier you'll remember it. So you can finish those ones off and don't forget to go back and colour the sounds, the special sounds in our list words. Today. F10, day two, we're revising the OU makes the OW sound. So let's read these words and highlight the sound in each of them. OW, ER, OUR, OUT, OUT. So we can see OU can be used at the start of a word. For the rest of these, you can see that the OU is going to be in the middle of a word. We never have OU at the end of a word because English words may never, ever, ever end with a U. So we've got L, OUR, D. Loud, sh out, shout, pur, pur, out, proud, m, out, mouth, f, out, and found, s, out, and sound, r, out, and round, g, r, out, and ground. Then you can get your pencil and we're going to read the word, sound the word, spell the word, and write it. So we're going to go our, our, er, O U R, cover it and write it. Out, O U T, cover it and write it. Loud, U L D, L O U D, cover it and write it. You can finish those ones on your own. Fill in the gap with the missing list word. A bird makes a chirping hmm, sound. So you have to write in the missing word. You can read those sentences and finish them on your own. Write the list word above the picture, shout, and you can finish the rest of them. <laughs> a bit too hard. 
down here you have to find the opposite. What's the opposite to square? It would be round. And you just have to write the word on the line. Off you go. F10 day three, we're revising the owl sound with the OU. We're using OU for the owl sound. So we've got owl, er, owl, t, out, l, owl, d, loud, sh, owl, t, shout, p, r, owl, d, proud, m, owl, th, mouth, f, owl, n, d, found, s, owl, n, d, sound, r, owl, n, d, round, g, r, owl, n, d, ground. So then you have to read the word, sound the word, spell the word, cover it and write it. So we've got our, our, er, o, u, r, cover it and write it. Out, our, t, o, u, t, cover it and write it. You can finish that on your own. Here we've got singular and plural. Singular means one, plural means more than one. So if they've given us the plural of mouths, you have to write the singular. Write the singular for grounds and write the singular for sounds. Comparatives and superlatives, when we're talking about comparatives, we mean more of something and we add ER to the end of a word. If it's a superlative, it's a super group of things, it's the most of many things. So we usually add EST to the end of the word. So we'd have loud, louder, loudest. Round, rounder, roundest. Down here we've got some verbs. So we've got shout, find, grind are all verbs. Then we've got shouts, finds, grinds. Then here we're adding the ing. So we've got shouting, finding, grinding. Now here we've got two alert signals telling us that the past tense of find is not finded. It would have to be found. The past tense of grind would be ground. We ground up the um, coffee beans. Um, proof read, circle the right word and write it. So we've got sound and then you just have to write it on the line. Don't get tricked. Put in alphabetical order. So let's go through A B, C, D, E, F. Oh, we had to go a long way today. F will be the first word, so you'd write that here. You can do the rest of those on your own. Just keep going with the alphabet. F10, day four, we're talking about possessive pronouns. These are words that we can use instead of the person's name. So we can use his, mine, theirs, ours, yours, her, hers. So I gave the jump to the girl. So it's about a girl. So it was her or hers. It was her, no, it was hers. So you have to write in the missing word there. I ride my bike to school. So We've got to find the best possessive pronoun that goes with that. So it's I am my bike. So the bike is mine. So you have to write in the missing word. Belongs to me, it is mine. The cat belongs to Tom. The cat is, Tom indicates that it's a boy, so it would be um, probably his, I think it's the only one we could have, yeah. The cat belongs to Tom, the cat is his. So you've got to use these words to finish these sentences. But think about who we're talking about. Think about the person or the thing that we're talking about. It might help you to work out which word to use. Is it one person or more than one person? So think carefully about this one. <laughs> 